Oh my. Here was an announcement I was not not expecting today, but I'm more than happy to hear about. A Castlevania TV show, which has been hinted at a few times in the past couple of years, is currently in development and it will be coming to Netflix later this year. Which is a good thing because, especially since we had that movie that was promised for years that we never got, you know, you know, we sort of got one in the form of Van Helsing, which, if that was inspired by Castlevania, I don't know what was. But that's getting off topic. Now, between this and a few other shows, I'm all I'm tempted to renew my Netflix subscription by the time the show comes out. And looking at the people involved with this, while I'm not entirely familiar with them, I am familiar with some of their work and and shows in good hands. Now, Castlevania is one of my, is one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. In one where I own all the main entries except for Bloodlines and Legends, if you count Castlevania Legends. A and as you might imagine, I'm pretty excited for this. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny to, ha to me that this is coming out this year, since I am planning on doing a Castlevania series overview at some point around Halloween. Free guess is why. Oh, and by the way, given the gothic nature of Castlevania, releasing this in October would be perfect. But at the same time, maybe almost too perfect and obvious, so maybe they could, they could release it in, I don't know, the summer and shake things up. <laughs> then again, who might have complained as a Castlevania TV show? Especially after seeing the way Konami abandoned the franchise, abandoned this franchise, along with most of the other than their integrity, but I'm not getting to that right now. So what do we know about this show right now? Well, not much, but I will talk about a few things that we do know, and a few things I'd like to, I'd like to bring up. Let's see, first is a statement from one of the creative people behind the show, describing it as a dark, satirical inversion of vampire, of vampire tropes, and would be the Western world's first good video game adaptation. Now, isn't, isn't that interesting? An inversion of vampire tropes in movies and TV shows? Well, given what I've seen over the past several years, that is certainly a good thing. Now, this show can be structured in a way similar to, say, the Hammer Horror films. I'm right on board of this. Especially given that, considering that those, those, along with other classic horror movies like the Universal ones, were some of the inspiration behind Castlevania. And the West of the World's first good video game adaptation? Well, the time for this announcement and this quote are pretty funny to me since I'll be doing a review of the Zelda cartoon at some point in the next week or two. Which certainly isn't a good video game adaptation. Anyway, I don't know what works in particular they're referring to, but there actually have been a few good video game adaptations, at least on TV. Movies I'm not touching. Now some of these, now some shows like the Zelda cartoon and the early Mario ones are certainly not good. Not under any stretch of imagination. Though there are others like, like the Sonic cartoon, or some of them, that are pretty damn good. And some of those were from Western Studios, I believe. And also, I remember seeing a show based on Mega Man Battle Network on the, on the Mega Man Battle Network series years ago. That was also pretty good, but that was an anime and therefore an Eastern adaptation. So maybe that's why it was pretty good. And now I don't necessarily agree with this statement 100% because they're having good Western video game adaptations, but I do understand where they're coming from. Given that there's some truly awful ones out there, especially movies. And even some of the good adaptions or shows based off of video games, there are some questionable choices like, speaking of Castlevania, Captain N and his characterization of Simon Belmont. Because there's no way to Castlevania that Simon Belmont in games was anything like that. <laughs> and finally, the official description of the show is, Inspired by a classic video game series, Castlevania is a dark medieval fantasy following the last surviving member of the disgraced Belmont clan, Trying to save Eastern Europe from extinction at the hand of Vlad Dracula Tepes himself. Okay, or okay, it's actually it was Vlad was Vlad Dracula Tepes, but I'm not getting into that. Yes, I think that was. Now, hmm, doesn't that plot sound familiar? What Castlevania game stars a member of, of a disgraced Belmont clan who wishes to save the world from Dracula? Hmm. If you're not familiar with that, if you're not that familiar with Castlevania or the older games, the answer is Castlevania Free Dracula's Curse. And actually, if you're going by the medieval period in the strictest sense, this is and this is an adaptation of one of the games. Trevor Belmont's story is the only one of the games, or one of the few games, actually set during the Middle Ages, which is the era between the fifth and fifth cent and fifth, between the fifth and fifteenth centuries. 
which Castlevania's Dracula's Cur Dracula's Curse takes place towards the end of the fourteenth of the fifteenth century. And while researching this, it appears see it appears that some people behind the show did say in two thousand fifteen that they are working on a show based on Dracula's Curse, meaning it will most likely star Trevor Belmont, the first person to slay Dracula. So if you never got through that game due to how, due to how hard it is, and boy is that game hard, this will be very perfect for you, as well as for, as well as for longtime fans of a series like me. Or people looking for a good video game, good show, video game kind of TV show. Period. And if any luck, the show could last a while. Possibly go for the adventures of a few key people in the Bond Clan, like Christopher, probably Simon, Richard, maybe even as late as Julius Belmont, which would be a way to end it, saying he was the last one to fight Dracula and killed him for good. But for okay, at first we should wait for a show to come out first before we're going to. It was going to go into other parts of the series lore. Now, with that said, my first that's my first thoughts and reactions to the announcement of the Castlevania TV show. And I'm pretty excited about this thing. And I'll certainly be watching and possibly reviewing this when it comes out. Well, until next time, 